Welcome back to Let's Play Reimpact the Oceans. I don't know how long it's been actually. Can't have been that long, surely not. Let me check. Oh my! Yeah, five days ago, on the 15th. 20th today. And as you can see from that, I played a bit of this yesterday. Which might as well still be considered today, because my sleeping pattern is a bit crap. <laughs> it's like 6 in the morning, and I woke up yesterday evening I was like I was playing a bit of this you know and basically the very next day after the previous part it just led to uh, well you'll see so couldn't really do any off screen stuff I also reloaded the Odette save file where I married Odette I tried to play a bit of that I was like I just couldn't be bothered <laughs> It's like, because I want to get those trophies, you know? The ones like, again, you know, all the fish, loads of fish, and defeating monsters and stuff like that. Because each time that I, you know, do another save file where I'm an old character, it's basically resetting all that progress back a lot. But I just couldn't, man. I reloaded it, and I was like... Oh, hi, Ron. I forgot you existed. Then I tend to miles a bit, and then I was like... <sighs> boring. <laughs> so I didn't really play on it for very long. And I also came to the realization that if I did, there's a chance that, you know, it would be the most recent save file, so, you know, whenever I load up a part, you know, you know for this let's play, I end up loading the sim, a wrong save file potentially if I did that. I'm also looking at the TV and looking at the capture card and noticing that the uh, capture card's lighting's a bit different. I mean, I've noticed this in a number of games. I say a number, but I don't really know how many times I've noticed it. But for whatever reason, it's not the same color. It's like, on my TV, the uh, floor and walls are more like a kind of whitish grey, whereas it has a kind of uh, yellow tint to it on the capture card. Kind of weird. Morning. Morning. Sleep well? Hey, I gotta talk to you about something, okay? What's up? Yeah, well, I think I'm pregnant. Yeah, even though, you know, you talked about potentially having, you know, starting up the family the previous day. Then you got home and, you know, went to bed and Elena must have woke you up in the middle of the night. It's like, hey, let's make a baby or something. Because, I mean, how does it explain anything? I mean, look, look how crazy her fingers look. That's just crazy. I'm already commenting on that because I just noticed she's wearing the ring, which makes sense, doesn't it? But still, crazy long fingers. What? Really? That's so great! It'll only take a full season before we get to the conclusion. We're going to have a baby. <laughs> I can't believe it! You know how I found funny when I loaded that old save file from, you know, my main save file, basically? Where I managed that. I found it funny how you... On that save file, he was wearing a woolly hat as well. But I think he was might have been wearing a super woolly hat. But I'm not too sure on that. Because, you know, I looked at the skill level of the hat. And the crafting level probably wouldn't have been high enough. Are you pumped? How about thinking up a really cool name then? Well, we can't do that yet. Okay. I'll think up a really good name. No, you won't. We'll go with whatever the default name is, like last now time. Make sure you don't push yourself too hard. I'm excited about our baby, but you need to take care of yourself. Also, by the way, that save file... 
is... Yeah, that's from back in February. That's how long ago that was. I was level 66. I have a 51, yeah. <laughs> Considerable difference there. Have I got full? Yeah, of course. And I've already got this equipped, so yeah, I won't be able to. Well, I could just do it this way. What level is my uh, crafting? 51. I think it might have been 60 something, maybe 63, on the Marry the Dead save file, so uh, there's a considerable difference. Don't think. I mean, if it was level 63, that would mean I could make anything crafting wise up to level 83. Just to show how hard it is to level up crafting. Same with carpentry, really. Because unlike, you know, with forging, cooking, and even mixing, really, which I don't really bother with for the most part, because it's just making antidote potions, cold medicine and potions, that's all it is. I mean, they could have added in protein boots, but uh, it's not a thing you can actually make, which is a shame, because it would actually give it some a reason to actually use a mixer. Because you can just buy potions, you don't need to make them yourself. But anyways, you know, like with forging, yes, you use scrap metal to, you know, use on something you've already forged to uh, just keep increasing your skill. With cooking, you can just make the same thing over and over again. Because, as you can see over... Yeah, it all, you know, adds up. It can go up to 99. Before it, you know, takes up two slots. Or, you know, alternatively, this happens where, you know, you get a better version. So it takes up two anyway. But the point is, you can keep doing that and raise the skill. With crafting, they're all individual slots. So it's more of a pain in the ass. I suppose one thing you could do if you got all the materials is keep making stuff then go to the inn or the store, whichever, sell the stuff, go back to the house and rinse repeat and maybe also add in some cooking in there so you can, you know, look up your RP to keep it going. I haven't really done anything like that, but, you know, it's because I've not really gone out of my way to uh, level grind to that extent. Quite a weapon you got there, I think I could play with some down. Now, I'm not going to, like, on-screen the full day like uh, the previous part. This is gonna be annoying, because I'll be uploading Digimon World Next Order today, technically. And then I'll have, you know, because uh, that's the last part I'm recording in advance, so I'll have, you know, do no recording for that. But at the same time, this is gonna be a case of... Well, the original plan was for the previous part. It's going to be split into sections. I'll play a bit of the game, stop, off-screen a bunch of stuff, then come back, record a bit more, and add it all into one part. So it's not completely uneventful. That makes sense. Whoa! I've been wanting this! Thanks! You're a lifesaver! Before I wrap this part up, though, I will at least, you know, check the bulletin boards, talk to a few Good people. Good morning. Let's do our best today. By the way, did you know that you can make Richard a dragon shrine? I didn't know that. Make an offering at a dragon shrine, then your wishes will come true. Make your offering the more amazing the wishes that you can have granted. Recently, I wished and found a pocket where I have book I from. Have these pickles. Did you make me this? You're so talented. Good morning. I'm pleased to see you looking well. Patrol the island every day is good exercise. You should help guard the island too. Have some fish. Ah, oh, I do love grilled fish. I'll accept your gift gladly. Good morning. 
The day is full of promise, isn't it? I clean thoroughly because I want our guests to feel very dumb. I'm so happy, thank you! I mean, you give me an apple every day, but because it's my birthday, I say something different. Uh, yeah, nothing important in the treasure hunt. I've probably done these requests before. So, I'm not gonna, like, do them all on the screen or anything like that. Just thought I'd check them, because I will do them, just be done off screen. Now, uh, before I wrap up this first little bit here, let's ramble a little bit here. How do, how do I begin with the ramble? <laughs> it's just like, let me think, you know, Persona 3. You know, I've... I can't even remember when I played at this point, because the one time when I thought it's like, oh, it feels like it was so long ago, and it was just a year ago. Maybe it was, maybe it was last year, but I feel like it might have been the year before. I can't even remember. But you know, whatever Isle of This Let's Play, or you know, my second play for a Digimon World Next Order, uh, gets completed. Whichever comes first, basically, you know, it's on a free. Would be on its way after that. Which is kind of stupid for me to say this, because neither of those, these zoo Let's Plays are near the end yet. Despite the insane length. Particularly on this one's parts. Seriously, I wonder which one will be completed first. Because, you know, still got uh, Sonja, Lily, and Violet. They've still the only one, other ones I've been voted for, so, you know. Next up for the uh, Adin Game Married would be Sonja, then Lily, then Violet. In that order, because, you know, that was the order that they got voted in, I think. And, you know, if anyone else gets voted on, and who knows, maybe I'll just marry each character and go for the school thing every time. Oh my gosh. Adine's having an existential crisis. It's like, this is just too much. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, as you know, because those are all free. I've currently been voted for. It's like, depending on how drained of this let's play I am by the points, you know, what going through all that, I might end up just, you know, marrying each cat on the save files, even though, even if they don't get voted on, but we'll see how it goes, because, you know, just the whole, you know, marrying Elena here has been absolutely tedious all the days about the off screen. It's crazy. Ridiculous. Speaking of which, that's gonna do it for here. I will meet you. Um, actually, I'll just accept one request first. Got to check my calendar. Because, you know, now that we've already had the, uh, Advancement of, you know, Elena being pregnant all of a sudden. It's going to be a while before, you know, the next scene where she'll probably, you know, ask us if we want to be a boy or a girl. I don't know how long that would take. When was the last time we've even seen Candy in this last play, honestly? It's her birthday tomorrow, but I'm going to off screen that day. I'll on screen. Miss Fan of Contest, but I won't on screen the full day or anything like that. I'll basically start recording to add on to here, right? About somewhere right before the contest starts itself. Like when I'm talking to Gerard, you know, just take part in the contest, which is basically just voting. Come to think about it. Wait a minute. A realization has just occurred to me. We never did get to that, did we? Asanja. Okay, here's how it's gonna go, right? Once we're done with, you know, the Elena 
marriage and child thing. I'm gonna reload the Sanja save file, because we've got to see how the uh, Miss Fenif contest plays out when you play the Sanja, because that's totally different. You'd be taking part in the contest. You wouldn't be the one voting, surely. So that would that would be like the intermission in between, you know, after, you know, a part has been dedicated to their child, which I don't know what part that will be. Probably won't be the next part, maybe. I don't know. It's going to be a lot of off-screen. But yeah, I will, you know, off-screen the rest of this, off-screen little days, and, you know, provided... I don't just say, ah, screw it, I'm going to bed, I'm tired, because I've been up since yesterday evening. By the time I get to Miss Venom contest, I'll record that tomorrow, or today, and we'll just be put two together here. And depending how long that goes on for, will depend whether that will complete a single part or not, because I might, you know, then further off-screen even more days. Till we get to the point where I'll leave and it's like, hey, what do you want the baby's name to be? And the gender to be, whatever the hell. So that would be added on there. And therefore, if that happens, the next part would technically actually be that part, now that I think about it. Where, you know, their child is born. Crazy to think about, isn't it? It's kind of weird. You know, <laughs> most of this relationship between Adina and Elena has happened off screen. But where have we got there? Acknowledge the relationship at least. Hey, hey, why don't you go now in your next venture? Why do you want to go? Oh, I thought I'd ask you to take a gold move next day. Because if you do that, you won't get hurt so much, you I just worry about you, darling. Maybe I'll choose a different nickname each time as well. Just like. <laughs> that, that's another thing I've thought of is like. Of course, typically it happens after I've recorded the part, but, you know, when you go, go through the list of things you can, you know, be called instead of by your name, you know, baby, and it just made me think of, uh, of all things, South Park, the episode where Cartman, Christian Hard Rock or something like that, or Christian Rock, whatever the hell it's called, when he's just singing this, like, about Jesus, it's like, Jesus, baby, it's just, it's so stupid but catchy, especially the compilation uh, song where it's just like, I want to get down on my knees and stop teasing Jesus, it's just like, what kind of lyrics are that? Seriously, on the, the commentary on that, they said they made, or at least thought of making full version of the song. It's like, why? Why not, man? It'd be hilarious. That would sell really well. <laughs> it's just like, can you imagine? <laughs> just like, even to like, Christian friend or something like that. It's like, listen to this, uh, Christian Rock album. Listen to it, that's a lyric scummy. It's like, well, that's certain difference. Anyways, off screen time, I guess. So, meet you at the contest. It is time once again for the Miss Finif contest. It's the next day, by the way. <laughs> it's like I played maybe one or two additional days off screen, and then it's like, yeah, I'm just knackered and it, you know, slept, sleep bad, crap. But then again, I could probably turn it around considering. I woke up around about 12, so by the time it be midnight, 
I would have been up 12 hours and presumably, possibly, be tired enough to sleep at that point. But then again, I'm always bad when it comes to sleeping during the night, so, whatever. So, um, yeah, also I recorded a little L bit of clips that I'm gonna add in in the middle there. That, uh, when I was playing through those days off screen yesterday, you know, some characters had some dialogue. I also threw in Candy getting a birthday present. We haven't seen her in ages. But anyways, hello there, Eddie. You come to judge the Miss Pennant contest, I suppose. Sure. <laughs> Do be sure to judge very carefully, then. Your vote will likely decide this year's Miss Pennant because you're the only one who will vote. Well, that, that doesn't make sense, would it? Because then how the hell do you get a second and third place? That wouldn't make sense. So, it's obvious who I'm going to vote for because, you know, you can't vote against your wife. It just doesn't make sense. Can, can you imagine that? You're, your wife enters a contest, and you vote for someone completely different. You would probably be divorced. <laughs> it's like, this is ground for divorce! It's like, it's one thing to, you know, compliment another woman if you're know, married. But, it's another thing if you basically say, yeah, she's more attractive than you. It's like, you son of a fly, you bastards! Once you've decided who to vote for, write it down on the ballot over there. Now all of these are marriage can, but still, you know, as I was, you know, uh, off screen a few days today, I was like, came to realization, well, it's not like I haven't already came to the realization, but it just emphasizes even more, it's like, if I end up going with the idea of, you know, on every, like, Every marriage can again married on a save file. That's just gonna be crazy. The amount of tediously boring off screen go for multiple days each time. And this is only the sec. Well, no, it's technically the third one, really. Damn it, Sonja. You know? Okay. As married Bismarck as Sonja, married a dad as Dean, and so married Elena has been here, so. That leaves Lily Violet, that's two, Pandora, Mikado, four, Marwin, five, wait, ready? Oh, Sierra, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's also, uh. Where the hell is Sonja at? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, she's back there, so it's 70. Wait, really? Wait, no. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Yeah, just the idea of doing that eight times. Oh, man. It might ultimately come down to which characters get voted on. Because that poll, you know, I'm going to keep it valid until I basically say, fuck this. You know, I'll end up. You know, it. For now, see it as, you know, priority kind of thing. If a character has been voted for, they get priority, they, you know, they're guaranteed. Well, about as guaranteed as it can be at this point, anyway. To be married on a different safe house. Like, currently, Sandra, Lily, Violet. That's the order, because that's the, uh... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? They got voted for in that order, basically. I think Sonja and Lily might have got voted at the same time, though, but Sonja gets proud because she's got an easier one to get to, the two, honestly. Violet came, got a vote much later on. And Elena ended up, you know, being the one we married first year because she had two votes. So, you know, could still, like, you know, someone be like, okay, I want Violet to be next. She's already voted for, but she doesn't get priority. But if someone else voted for her, that give her two votes, as opposed to everyone else having one, therefore she would end up being next instead of Sonja. 
That's basically how it's, I'm looking at it currently. And you know, if any other character that hasn't been on a rock gets voted for, they become, you know, possible. Because the ones that haven't been voted for right now get the least priority. Am I making any sense? So first up on the list are the ones that haven't been voted for. What? Do you need something? I haven't been voted for. Uh. <laughs> this is my favorite bathing suit. It's your only bathing suit. But you haven't been voted for. Wow! Ever looks so cute. You haven't been voted for either. Honestly, Sierra would be the easiest one to get a full wedding because, you know, it would take that long to get her last friend event. And who can forget? The uh, only the second time we've ever seen Makoto wearing a swimsuit because she just does not like to wear swimsuits. So it's only during the contest, and they clearly didn't uh, put much thought into it because, well, pay attention to her sword hat. That just looks weird without the sword in hand, doesn't it? What the hell were they thinking? Don't stare so much. Like, stop staring. But you haven't been voted for either. Very nice. What is it? Are you spellbound by my beauty? How come no one's voted for me? Peasants. And those are the only ones that haven't been voted for, apparently, isn't it? Don't stare so hard. What? Well, you got a problem? Of course, if that doesn't, you know, she's not on the poll because... Well, she was the one I married on the main save file. My, my, who are you voting for, dear? Uh. It's just sort of embarrassing. So that's just Elena left to talk to then? How can I add more golds to my bims? I mean, you could add the... I mean, maybe add in some golds on it, you know, as a design. Who should I vote for? You had a vote for your wife or you get the boss. Well, it wouldn't happen. This is real life that would possibly lead to such a conflict. <laughs> because, yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you for your vote. Just week the results will be announced. The votes have been cast and it's time to announce the results. I say this is quite exciting. Hmm. Just let me say that all of you are simply lovely. You certainly made the choice to vote. Wait a minute. What's th what what? I I always assumed you know the three uh, sisters would always place in the top four. Where's Lily? You think she'd be in the top three or four, or whatever? Is it randomized a little bit there? I mean I know Electra is usually the one that's like uh, fourth place if. You vote for one of the sisters, but that's odd. Oh, then I'll announce to her results. First up in fourth place, I already spoiled it, but she gets it consistently if you don't vote for her. In fourth place, Electra, things were close there, but you needed just a few more votes. How do you feel, Electra? <laughs> Next year, I'll try and make it to the top. That's, you know, only if you get married. Moving on, next up in the third place is. I guess that that really is number one by default then. Violet, what a pity, I had so hoped you would win. How does it feel to be third place, Violet? Please stop staring at me. I didn't second place. Oh, that's a fine showing. So how does it feel to be the runner? I got second place power, I don't believe it. Is that like a, how did I not win? Or is it just surprised that you place that high. Finally first place. 
This youth is fit of his, Elena. Well, I'm sure James will be ecstatic about that. Alina, I present you with the title of Miss Adam Miss Fenif and a splendid bride. I almost combined the words Miss Planet. <laughs> how do you feel right now, Alina? This <laughs> <laughs> is not how she feels. Well, not how you feel, so I'm it. Alright, Alina got first place, that's my sister. Shut up! Be quiet. Oh my. Congratulations! Alina. This year's Miss Fenif contest ends with a victory for Alina. Hmm. But one never knows what may happen next year, because the Dean, he's constantly getting divorces and getting remarried, except that's not really the case, it's just alternate universes of sorts, because it's different save file. I'm sure you'll all grow even more. I'll see you all again next year. Everyone looked lovely this year. I don't know how they're able to be able to pop this next year. And how many days are gonna take to uh, get the next dialogue from a leader? I think the result of this Miss Fenner contest is fair. But I hope you'll vote for me next year. I didn't even place top four. What the hell is this shit? Well, today's Miss Fenner contest went just as expected, right? I mean, did anyone expect Elena to win this? So Ever looks so pretty. They haven't even set up the market yet, have they? Which is annoying to me because it's been days since Jocelyn was on the island, and you know, the bulletin board has a, another Pandora request, right? And it requires bringing a frickin' protein booster ball things. <laughs> Man, this Venom contest was so awesome. There are so many cute girls in the especially no, never mind. So who you vote for, Dean? You gotta tell me, you probably voted for Son last that's on the league. But you didn't even place top four. Uh, is there even anyone around here? Miss Fat got this over. Is Miss Fat got his bad? I want to enter next year. You will never enter because you will never get any older. Nobody does, except our kid, technically, but they only age like one year. <sighs> I've never been so nervous. What a fearsome thing this Miss Fat contest is. Well, I guess I didn't demonstrate big enough talent in that area. Next year, I'll at least that part of my appeal. I mean, really, uh... Lily's the only one who has boobs, really. You may be surprised to hear that I was once a freaking contest, but didn't the Miss Philip contest myself. <laughs> oh, you just about me to assume she didn't you? Oh, no, no, I would never. Hey! Hold on, this has to be some kind of joke. Yeah, she didn't expect to win. Hmm, boy, these gunners are bad for the heart in all sorts of ways. Good morning. What do you think? How was the Miss Fennec on this? What's that? Do you think I should have taken part? Oh, please, you're making fun of me. Well, it would certainly be interesting. Pandora's not going to be happy with that as well. What did you say? There must be some error. This result cannot be. Hey! Surely Minion, you did not cast your vote for another than other than I, Pandora the Arc Sorceress. Yeah, and you know how Pandora so did anyone who voted on the two polls that I constantly bring up. Nobody has voted for you. So what? This, this is just an outrage. So you're gonna set up shop because I've got a bunch of treasure chests to get raised. Hopefully, one of them will have a protein boost, but I doubt it. What do you need appraised? This is a tuner. I'll appraise that for you. This is. I'll appraise that for you. This is. 
I'll appraise that for you. This is... Yeah, of course. What do you think? How was the Miss Bennett contest? I don't even know why I'm even wanting <laughs> to go out of my way to talk to everyone on the island. There's not really any reason to. I mean, I guess Barkus is... Barkus and Bismarck are the only time to talk to. Might as well, you know. But Barkus is gonna disappear. He's gonna go to the harbor or some shit. Seems fine, I guess, because we're gonna walk down there. Good afternoon. I wonder why we uh, even hold this event like this. It's just all a bit too uh, stimulating for my taste. Good afternoon. You know, I've noticed something that has been obvious this whole time, but I've never really thought about it. This island, you know, male-female ratio is a bit unbalanced, isn't it? It's like, okay, for the girls we have one, two, three, four. I'll count Jocelyn because she, you know, just visits. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Twelve. Uh, if I'm counting right. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And then you got visiting characters like Jocelyn, Candy, Petra, and Ashley. All girls as well. Yeah, I mean, I think even if you counted those, you know, random NPCs that are on the island, that while they have names, they don't count as main characters at all. You could probably combine that, and it still would be unbalanced. Yeah, maybe this will do for this part then, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. So I was thinking of maybe, you know, adding the next uh, point of. Yeah, looking mighty energetic. That's what I like to see. The pregnancy thing, you know, with the lady being like, hey, what, what gender should the baby be? Because apparently you can decide on that, which makes no sense whatsoever. It doesn't work that way in real life. But, you know, maybe that'll be... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I won't edit this part right away. I'll continue playing the game off-screen. And if that scene pops up, I'll add, I, you know, just record a little bit just to show that. And then I can off-screen until, you know, the child is born. And that'll be the next part. I mean, it'll be the next part either way. That's kind of a plan. And then after that, we'll have an intermission of sorts, where, you know, go through the uh, spin of contests, playing as Sonja. And then we'll move on to marrying Sonja, because unless someone else gets two votes, that's currently how it's going to go. So, yeah. What the? Well, this is kind of contest could be all right, too. It's summer, after all. So, I want to say, and that never changes. I just feel like I always have to do that. Even though it's like every two parts. Even though now this let's play has reached a point where I can't record two parts into one sitting, I still do that. You know, the last recording uh, was like freaking days ago at this point. I haven't even uploaded that part yet. I think I'll be uploading Digimon World Next Order today, and tomorrow Lil Boss is on the VN channel, and then the previous part of the upload. So, it's still a few days away, but you know, I'm recording a lot more in advance here, but it's not really, because, I don't know. I mean, usually I would have had two parts recorded in advance anyway. Just, I have to, you know, play the game off-screen in my own time to, you know, 
progress things along so that we actually have something accomplished about. So I recently got around to recording those bonus parts for Project Zero Made in Black Water. So, I've been uploading for that as well again now. It, that like took me 2 hours and 45 minutes to get the platinum trophy in because the last trophy was such a convoluted mess again because I didn't really know how to get the trophy in a more straightforward manner. So it was a bit chaotic. And I've still got another part of spot to record for it at some point. It's just, it just never ends. But anyways, that's all I'm going to do for this part right now. Or I'll add on that bit at the end. If I come across it today as I am playing the game off screen. Otherwise, I'll save for the next part. So, yeah. I will just say, anyway, just, just in case that ends up being the case, you know. See you next time, viewers. See you next time. And... <coughs> it is time. Morning. Sleep well? How are you feeling? <laughs> Everything's fine. We got no problems. In fact, we don't have anything. I was lying about the whole being pregnant thing. It's like, how could you lie about something like that? Yeah, I was wondering if you could choose, would you rather have a boy or a girl? Uh... Well, when I, you know, because, uh, you know, I save at the start of each in-game day when I was off screen, going through multiple days. And, you know, I have to believe this dialogue triggered, and I just went with this one for the hell of it. And I think I did this one last time as well. They pretty much all just say the same thing where it's like, you know, I'd be fine with that or So we'll be the ones to say it instead. Hmm. That's true, whichever it turns out to be, it's still a baby. <laughs> it's so nice to live with the person you love, and now you gotta wait I don't know how long. So I basically off screen the rest of that week, more or less there. Uh, I wonder if the baby will be born before the father's festival. I mean, if it's after or, you know, right before, I might, you know, do the fireworks festival. But, you know, if the baby is not born by then, that's... Well, actually... I mean, I don't know how long it would take, honestly. <laughs> if there's a festival, like, the day after, you know, the baby's born, then I'll, you know, on screen at festival as well. I, I don't know, maybe I'll on screen the fireworks festival, because I think that's possibly the only festival that has a date of sorts. Where I think you have to ask a, a person you want to see the fireworks with the day in advance, I think, and then you just watch the bio scale, yeah, it's not really much, but it's something at least. So if the baby is born before that point, then I might, you know, do that as well, before moving on to uh, intermission with, you know, song uh, and the misfit of contest. And then <laughs> we'll move on to marrying song of the lead, of course. So that's gonna do for reals this time for this part. Three sections. Actually, how many clips did I record as well on top of that? Okay, so <laughs> three little clips in between. And three parts of commentary here for just one part. Kinda crazy, but you know. One way of doing it so that, you know, the part doesn't end up being like a full in game day where nothing happens. It ends up being spread out over several in game weeks. But yeah, I'm gonna off screen until the baby is born, or possibly, I don't know, maybe if the baby isn't born by the Fireworks Festival, maybe I'll on screen the Fireworks Festival anyway. If it happens before or after, well, I guess it wouldn't matter in that regard then, would it? But it would also have to count like this. If the baby was born 
days before the Flower Festival, I don't know if I always do the Flower Festival. But I don't know, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do both of this. Whichever ends up coming first, that'll be the start of the next part. But with this, I can now finally edit this part at some point, and possibly get around to recording the Digimon Worlds tomorrow because we are going to record some more for that again. So that's going to do. See you next time. See you next time.